During the past season, thousands of fans have seen the teams of the National Football League in action for the first time. The popularity of postgraduate football, as played by the National Football League, has grown by leaps and bounds because it is a clean, fair game packed with plenty of thrills and excitement. Some of the greatest college stars of all time are now playing National League football. As you will see, every player and every team plays to win. They have the same pride in their game that they had when they played for their college teams. This is one reason why a game between two National League teams is similar in spirit to a game played between two rival colleges or universities. Now for the high spots of some of these games with all their thrills and color. Red Barber, famous Wheaties sports announcer, will describe the game. So let's kick off, Red. Now we go to Green Bay, Wisconsin, where the Green Bay Packers are preparing for an important game with the Chicago Bears. Here we see Cecil Isbell, number 17, demonstrating the form which helped him win that trophy we saw earlier. With unerring accuracy, he passes to Hudson, the Packers' phenomenal receiver from the University of Alabama. The Packers are rated as having the strongest passing attack in the country. And here's another of the reasons. The former Regis College back, Arnold Herber, number 38. He's on the throwing end of this well-executed pass play, which started as a spinner. With Herber faking the ball to Clark Hinkle, number 30, the Packers still a fullback from Bucknell. Down in Chicago, the Bears are working out. Here goes Fordham University's one-time halfback, Joe Maniacci, number 11, one of the Bears' speediest, most elusive ball carriers. For the decisive point after touchdown, the Bears have the universally recognized number one expert, Minnesota's automatic Jack Mandis. He misses very seldom. Chicago's Wrigley Field is always jammed for a Green Bay Packers game. And this one promises to be a real thriller. The Bears expect some tough competition today, and those serious expressions on their faces show it. The rivalry between these two teams is the longest in postgraduate football. They have a wholesome respect for each other. But Coach Curly Lambeau of the Packers and his assistant Red Smith seem unworried. As does George Hallis, owner and coach of the Bears, and his assistants Red Grange and Luke Johnson. Engelbretson kicks off for the Packers. It's taken by a Bear halfback, who's brought down hard on the 18 by a savage tackle. From kick formation, the Bear halfback Ray Nolte from the University of Cincinnati skirts in for a gain of seven yards before being knocked out of bounds by Clark Hinkle of Green Bay. This time, automatic Jack Manders gets the ball on an indirect pass and breaks through the left side of the line for five yards. Out of the huddle, into their T formation. The ball is snapped and the pass of fades. But all his receivers are covered. So he takes the ball himself and smashes through to the seven yard line before he stops. The ball goes to Jack Manders and over he goes for a touchdown for the Bears. There's plenty of excitement here and the crowd loves it. It's the Bears again, and they're keeping up their momentum. But Green Bay puts up plenty of stiff resistance. They stop this play cold at the line of scrimmage. This time, halfback Joe Maniacci takes the ball. He's running hard, but the Packers close in, and he gains only a yard before he's knocked out of bounds. The Bears are marching, but the Packers battle every inch of the way. On a lateral pass, the Bears bring the ball four yards to the eight-yard line before being stopped. With a man in motion, the ball goes to Swisher. He's fading out to his right. He's going to pass, and it's complete. Far back in the end zone for a touchdown. Now will the Bears make that vital extra point? It may decide the game. There's the kick, squarely between the uprights. This time it's the Packers' ball, and halfback Bob Manette takes the pass from center, shovel passes it to Joe Laws, who goes through for four yards. After the shift, Clark Hinkle swings around left end on a reverse and makes valuable yardage before he's pushed out of bounds. The Packers will have to hurry to pull this one out of the fire. Here's Cecil Isbell taking the ball on a lateral pass and running around his left end. Big Jack Manders, the bare fullback, gets a grip on him and well, well, just a couple of jitterbugs after all. 
few fancy steps and out he goes. 